In the investigation into a shooting that injured four college students, the injured Clark, Atlanta, and Spelman students were at a block party outside the Atlanta University Center, and they were celebrating the start of classes. 11 Alive's Rebecca Lindstrom is live outside the Clark Atlanta campus. Rebecca, police have released new surveillance video of a second suspect, yet they are still looking for these shooters many days after the fact. Yep, police aren't saying which suspect they think opened fire first or whose bullets they believe actually caused the injuries to those four students. What they are saying is that getting this video out to as many people as possible is their best chance to catch the gunman. These are the two men police believe are responsible for the shooting that injured four students. Watch as the man in the black jacket seems to turn back around and look at the other suspect sitting on a bench. As soon as the video stops, that's pretty much when the gunfire started. Last week, police released this video, giving us a better look at the first suspect. Governor Kemp tweeted the video and it was shared across the country, but still no arrests. Police walked to the Clark Atlanta campus passing out flyers on Thursday to say they are still desperate for leads. Right now, we're, we're frustrated. We want to solve this case. Chief Shields has made it an absolute priority for us. It is completely unacceptable for four students to come to Atlanta to go to school and to be shot at a party. That's just absurd. As police investigate, students return to class. We cannot allow another careless act of gun violence. 19 year old Kia Thomas spoke out shortly after the shooting. We know at least two of the four victims have returned to class. For Erin Ennis, Friday was her first full day back. She was shot in the thigh and is having to use a motorized scooter to get around campus. She's chosen not to live in fear. She's not fearful of going back on campus. On Twitter, another student shot in the chest tells friends a week later feeling and looking better. Police do not believe the two men responsible for their injuries are students at any of the area schools. That's why they say they're looking beyond campus now for leads. The images are pretty good. The images are pretty clear. You know, we, we're hoping somebody can see them and say, I know he wears that jacket. I know he wears that hat. You know, I know I can see by the mannerisms, by the way he walks. That's someone I know. And that's why Atlanta police are just asking anyone who might recognize either of these men to contact them. There is now, Cheryl, a $5,000 reward for information that helps lead to an arrest. All right. Hopefully that's an incentive to get the information that can help them. Rebecca, thank you.